Hello, Sunday. Welcome to another episode of In My 30s, a series where we talk about everything that has to do with turning 30 and the life after. Today's video, we're going to be talking about top five sunscreens for 30 plus skin in India. Sunscreens are extremely important for anybody's skincare. But after you turn 30, you really, truly need a sunscreen every single day of your life. A lot of people believe that you should only apply sunscreen when you go outside. Sadly, that is not true. I will dig deeper about this topic in another video. Let me know if you guys would be interested in another video talking about if you should be wearing sunscreens inside the house, how exactly you should wear it and what sort of sunscreens you should wear inside the house. I actually asked you guys all of this on my Instagram stories right here and it was a half and half battle a couple of people said that they don't really like to wear sunscreen inside the house. A couple of people said that they do like to wear sunscreen inside the house. It was pretty much a tie. Yeah. Speaking of Instagram, if you guys want to follow me, this is my profile link. I'm also going to leave that in the description box. So you can follow me there and get more updates. I am a firm believer in investing in your skincare, especially when it comes to 30 plus skin. I know affordability is a very important thing for a lot of people when it comes to skincare. But when we are talking about skincare after the age of 30, I would highly suggest you try investing in good products. Try to focus less on cheap products, more on products that make your skin feel better. You have to take care of your skin and you have to protect your skin after 30 more than you did in your 20s. So please keep that in mind and keep an open mind about it. Skincare in general is sort of an investment. Um, you won't really see the difference within 10 years, but by the time you're 40 or 50, you will realize that taking care of your skin was the best decision that you took. So I personally think you should be investing in your skincare, but to each their own. So I try to keep all of the products in an affordable category. But if you're somebody just like me that likes to invest more into my skincare as well as my skin protection, definitely let me know your picks for best sunscreens in the comment section. So at number five, we have Lotus Herbal's 3-in-1 Matte Look daily sunblock. Now this comes with an SPF of 40. Um, it is available everywhere. I have been using the sunscreen since like 2008. It has a really beautiful scent but let's get to the positives as well as negatives of this sunblock. It has a great tint that works on most of the medium skin tone. It has a very non-greasy feel to it. The scent of it is also very very light. It doesn't really get to your head or anything. It can be a very good alternative if you're somebody that's looking for a BB cream. Since it is a tint. It is very easy for you to reapply it during the day. Um, if you're somebody that really doesn't like using a lot of makeup, this may be a very good option for you. Now let's talk about the negative points. One of the biggest negative points that I've also noticed is the tint in itself works for mostly medium skin tone. If you're somebody that is a deeper skin tone or if you're somebody that's extremely fair, um, this skin tint will not work. It's going to make your face look yellow if you you're very very light or orange um, and if you are deeper in your skin tone then it's just going to look really weird on your skin so that is I think a huge negative a second problem with this sunblock is that it is not sweat proof there will be times where you will have it on your face you can set it with a powder and all but the second you start to sweat it will drip down which I think is a big con. Also, it will transfer. It is not transfer proof. It's not sweat proof. So when you will call somebody if you're sitting outside and if it's really, really hot, all your sweat and all of the sunblock will be on your phone. It will get everywhere. So I know a lot of you must be thinking then why exactly is it on the list? Well, a lot of products have quite a bit of positives and quite a bit of negatives but I truly believe this sunscreen will work really well if you have 30 plus skin and you don't really like to apply makeup all the time if you are a medium skin tone um, if you don't really sweat that much especially if you're just sitting inside the home this seems like a very very good idea. Fourth place in this list goes to the Plum Chamomile and Whitey Sheer Matte Day Cream SPF 50 PA++ that is a mouthful that is a big name 
for a big product. So let's talk about the positive. It does not really leave a white cast, which is great. It blends into your skin beautifully. It gives moisture to your skin. So if you're somebody that gets very lazy, doesn't really want to do a moisturizer, which you should be doing because you're 30 plus now, so you have to take care of your skin. You can use this alternatively to a moisturizer. It is very easy to reapply. So if you're somebody that sits at home or even goes outside, it's just, it's a great formula to reapply. It does not really feel gunky or anything. Unlike other sunscreens that don't really have a lot of active ingredients, since this is by Plum, um, a company that boasts of its active ingredients as well as, you know, no nonsense and clean um, products. This one has, let me read it, it has chamomile and white tea, which provides antioxidants to the skin. It also has anti-inflammatory properties. Apart from that, it also helps fight early signs of aging, which is great. One thing that I've noticed is that this will work great if you have somebody that had oily skin before and by the time you turn 30, after that you realize that your skin started to change and your skin started to become way drier than it was before. Now let's get down to the negatives of the sunscreen. This sunscreen can definitely get way greasy if you have combination to oily skin. It has a strong scent which I don't like and I have a very sensitive nose. If you're somebody that gets migraines or scent induced headaches, I would suggest don't buy this. It can feel a bit heavy on people that have combination to oily or oily skin. I would highly suggest this sunblock for people who want an alternative to a good moisturizer and who want like a lazy proof sunblock. Um, also people that have dry skin, people that want a lot of moisture in their sunblock. The third in the list is a time tested product that most of us have tried sometime or the other. It is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock with SPF 50. Plus. Now the positives of this, all of us know, it has no white cast, it is oil free and non-commodogenic, it is ultra ultra lightweight, has no um, oily finish at all, it's suitable for all skin types, it's waterproof and sweat proof, it's completely weightless so it has a very matte finish when you do apply this, it goes great underneath makeup and on top of skincare. Now there aren't really a lot of negatives that I could find of this product because this truly is a cult favorite. I also so used to up um, like I was just crazy about this product and I would apply it for like I think three or four years but there's one negative that I would like to clarify if you're somebody that wears glasses or you get a lot of sweat around your eyes I would not suggest this because one time I had this on and uh, a little bit of sweat went in my eye and I was literally blinded for about 15 minutes I was standing on a bus stop I was waiting for a bus to come to take me to college and the, I was I was about to die. So if you have somebody that has sensitive eyes, if you sweat a lot around your eyes and sweat kind of goes in your eyes, I would stay away from this or just don't apply it close to your eyes. Second one in this list is something that I tried and I was like, oh, this is great. I couldn't wait to recommend it to you guys. It's the, again, it has really big names, so I have to look at it. It's the Requil Oxybenzone and OMC Free Sunscreen for Oily, Sensitive and Acne Prone Skin, SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. Now, the positives of this product, it gives you no white cast at all, it goes beautifully underneath your makeup or on top of your skincare. It's non-comedogenic, which means it's not going to be blocking your pores if you reapply it or apply it a little bit too much. It is completely non-greasy. It has a very beautiful matte finish. It's an oxybenzone and OMC free formulation, which is something a lot of people care about that. So yeah, the negative, the only negative that I could find of this product is that it is not waterproof. It is not water resistant. So if you're somebody that sweats a lot, it will kind of come off most of the time. Most of the time what happens is that after I'm done working, I have to go in the kitchen. It's like super, super hot. So me and they, both of us cook food together and both of us are drenched within like 15 minutes. So all of it comes off. So every single time I cook after that, I wash my face again and apply it again. So yeah, I wouldn't really suggest this to you if you sweat like crazy all the time. But you can definitely reapply it. It is a beautiful formula. You guys will absolutely love it. There is no scent as well to this, which is another positive. So the number one top sunscreen for 30 plus skin in India right now is again 
by Requil. It is a long name, so wait a second. It's the Requil Ultra Matte Dry Touch Sunscreen Gel SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. Quadruple Plus? Oh yeah, it's quadruple, right? Four pluses right here. Uh, it's water resistant and it has zinc oxide as well as titanium dioxide. The positives of this one is it's ultra matte, okay? There is no more of mattifying sunscreen that you need than this sunscreen. It will make your face extremely matte, easily blends with your skin and it doesn't necessarily leave a lot of white cast on your face. It has a highest UVA protection which is CA quadruple plus, which basically means that it's going to save you from ashest UVAs, UVBs, as well as infrared rays. It is water and sweat resistant. So even if you're somebody that goes into the swimming pool um, and you feel like most of the sunscreen kind of just melts away, this is a great option. Uh, if you're somebody that uses a lot of primers and you feel like really irritated and you don't really want to like use a sunscreen, this actually works as a primer for your makeup. If you're somebody that uses makeup on top of your sunscreen, so that's something definitely that you can use it for. It's this weird combination of physical and mineral sunscreen together. It does not enter into the deep layers of your skin, but at the same time, it protects your skin. There are two negatives to this, which is something that I have noticed not by my own self when I'm using it. But I have seen a couple of people say this about this product. There is a little bit of white cast if you're somebody that is extremely deep in your complexion. Um, but at the same time, if you're somebody that's deep in the complexion, but you want to use this as a makeup primer and something that's completely sweat proof and sweat resistant then you can definitely use this but it's still a tiny bit of a negative not for everybody but for very very few another point is that if you have patchy skin if you have dry spots some places and you have pretty normal skin everywhere else this will sort of cling to your dry patches a little bit okay that's like very very little um but when you become 30 generally your skin dries out or it gets very very oily so it could go both those ways so if you're somebody that has extremely dry skin i would suggest you hydrate your skin before you put this on but if you're somebody that has really oily skin, you can just use it as it is. That's about it. That was my recommendations for sunscreens for 30 plus skin in India. I really hope this list helps you. And if you've used any of these products, um, all of this was my personal experience with these products. If you are somebody that has turned 30 and you've discovered a really great sunscreen, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Um, where do you stay? What sort of skin do you have? And if any of these products have not worked for you, why exactly do you think that is that really helps a lot of people guys whatever i tell you in videos as i say in every video is just my perspective i value your perspective a lot so if you leave your comment in the comment section not only does it help me in understanding and trying new products it also helps a lot of other different people who might not have the same skin texture as me or might not have the same skin color as me so they can make their own decision and it really helps it just, it helps a lot of people out. So whatever you have had an experience, so whatever your experience, please do share that in the comment section. Let's help each other out, even if it's in sunscreen. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section. If you have any video requests, you can also leave that in the comment section. If you have any other further questions, you can definitely ask me over at Instagram. This is my handle and I hope you guys like this video. I really hope that this is useful. Every single thing that I have on my face, on my hair, on my body, I'm going to be linking that in the description box. A lot of people ask me what I'm wearing continuously. So please do check the description box. Everything is there. That's about it.